What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to wire three 2 ohm dual voice coil subwoofers to a 1.33 ohm load and a 3 ohm load. There are two other loads that we can do with these subwoofers, a 0.33 ohm and a 12 ohm. A 0.33 ohm load is really, really low. Most amplifiers are not capable of driving a load that low, so we won't even cover it. A 12 ohm load, you probably would never use that in a car audio setting, only because you would minimize the output of your amplifier. In order for us to do any of these wiring, what you'll need is some speaker wire and a voltmeter. For the sake of this video, what we're gonna use is just some zip cord wire. You'll need to make sure to right size your speaker wire for your particular setup, both on the amplifier and on the speakers. When dealing with three woofers, you would want to use generally a minimum of 12 gauge speaker wire and preferably 10 gauge speaker wire. The easiest way to verify if you have a dual voice coil subwoofer is you should have two sets of speaker terminals, both a positive and negative on either side of the basket. To set up our 1.33 ohm load, what we'll need to do is series a set of voice coils on each one of the woofers and then parallel the connections together. Our first connection will be to take the negative side of one of the coils and connect it to the positive side of the other coil. and we'll do the exact same thing for the other two. Now that we've seriesed our connections, so what we've done is made a four ohm load, a four ohm load, and a four ohm load. Now we're going to parallel all three woofers together to complete our 1.3 ohm load at the amplifier. Our first step is to connect our positive lead on this woofer, then the negative lead. To complete our system wiring, We'll combine all the positive sides to one another. And we'll do the same with the negative side. Before we connect our load to the amplifier, we'll want to verify that load with a voltmeter. In order to test our load, we'll want to make sure the woofers are pointing up and we'll set our voltmeter to resistance. Put the positive lead of our voltmeter on the positive leads of the woofers. Put the negative lead on the negative lead of the woofers. Our voltmeter reads 1.1 to 1.2 ohms of resistance. What we're measuring here is just resistance. We're not measuring impedance. Impedance changes when the woofer is playing and in an enclosure. To get our 3 ohm load, what we'll do is we'll parallel one coil to the other. So we'll take the positives and connect them to the positives and the negatives to the negatives. Then we'll series the three woofers together to create our final 3 ohm load. We'll take the positive of one side and connect it to the positive of the other. and we'll do the exact same thing for the negatives. To get our final 3 ohm load, now what we must do is 
series, each woofer together. So we're gonna take the positive of one side, connect it to the negative of the other side, and we're gonna do the exact same thing for the other woofer. That will leave us with one positive and one negative, giving us our three ohm load. To complete our 3 ohm load, what we need to do is take the amplifier output, the positive side, connect it to this positive here, and take the negative side of the amplifier and connect it to this negative side here. We've now completed our 3 ohm load. Prior to connecting our load to the amplifier, we'll need to verify it so we'll flip each woofer over and test it with a voltmeter. We'll set it to ohms. We'll connect the red lead to the red and the black lead to the black. And our voltmeter is reading 2.6 to 2.8 ohms. So we verified our load is roughly three ohms at the amplifier. What we're testing here is not impedance, we're testing resistance. Impedance changes when the woofers are installed in an enclosure and playing. There are two impedances we did not cover. 0.33 ohms and 12 ohms. As we said earlier, those are impedances that you'll likely not use unless your amplifiers can handle it. There are other methods online in which you can find to wire at those resistances, but we won't go over that in this video. Make sure to check out all our other videos on subwoofers, amplifiers, how to match subwoofers and amplifiers, and how to wire subwoofers and amplifiers. If you're new, subscribe to the channel, join the conversation below, and make sure to check out qualitymobilevideo.com for all your car audio and video gear, and thanks for watching.